So um, I will call me or and we will do roll calls. Everybody that's here, I. <laughs> if you're here, you can say I. Uh, I. <laughs> if you're not here, well. If you're not here. If you can't well, say anything. <laughs> don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> be quiet. Um, okay, so we'll go then to the next agenda item, and that is we will approve the minutes from our last meeting. Motion to approve. All seconded. Use all in favor. Aye. aye. And then the personnel board hearing is the next agenda item. We should close that door. Do you have close the door? My little petite voice. <laughs> I know it doesn't carry very well. It's picking it up well on here. <laughs> My family says, be quiet. <laughs> I just have a couple of little very small things, but first I want to say we have come a long way and this is looking that way. So I'm glad for that. So a couple of these things are just very, very tiny points. Um, page three, um, section B there at the top, the last sentence. Um, the very last two words, that sex stereotyping that we're going to be putting in the can we capitalize those since we're going to define that but again small um and then just a general question about that will we be presenting you know this is this this is that issue that we're changing something but we're not issuing the definitions yet so are we each time we make a definitions change are we looking at that to you see what i mean yeah. so we have a new word right but we move definitions out of Article one to the back. So if someone sees that and needs that definition, how are they going to get that? But I think I think probably you'll get there. And if somebody asks, what does that mean? That one, I guess. Right. Because we haven't gone through all the definitions and I don't think we want to run that through. Right. Cram that through now. So that's just kind of a thing I have about the definitions. And then paragraph C, very bottom. Article one, section one, just for consistency. Again, small. The part about wearing your mask is you cannot get your fingers turned to pages. Page five, four mm, B. Judgment still has an E there. I, I looked it up because I was. It sounds like judgment with an E is the old archaic. English way or something. Um, I think we do that. I don't know. But it, or, it drew my attention. Yeah, yeah I'll just pick yeah. it up. And, Again, no big deal. It's page five. Oh, sorry. Yes, you. Okay. Okay. Page Did five. you see it? Yep, got it. E. Yeah, yeah, 4B. Sorry, it went too fast. Okay. Okay. Page seven. So the religious K4. Very last thing there, Article 8. I assume that will become Article 7 because we've taken away one. Because this was two now. So like basically we removed everything up one, right? Would that be correct? Yeah. I try to go down the whole I thing. Well, yeah, but I don't know if we're going to change it yet because I. what if we like the next section is Code of Ethics? Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so true. I okay. think we keep it as okay. Section 8 for now, yeah. even though it may not be quite in order. That's yeah. my thinking. That's I think exactly. that's good, too, okay. because it says general grievance policy set for. I mean, so if somebody's going to look for it. Right, they'll right. Go, they can still find it. So that's I'll good. just mark it, though, so we no track, track of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm turning pages, so I think I'm there. I'm done. A little more for me. That only took me. That only took three minutes. You feeling okay? Uh, yeah. They 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 listened and incorporated and did all the things we need. So looks good to me. It does look good. Well, thank you uh, really for those too, because. After you read this mm -hmm. a thousand times, oh. it all starts it to does. look exactly this. Like oh, yeah, you're like, where did I put that? Appreciate it. Yep. For no sure. Problem. 
No, I'm even the same way when I go back to it. Ron, do you have anything on the no, CMP? No, okay. I only had two things. One is on page four, number one, about the sixth line down, we have director instead of officer. You see that? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. And Officer, yeah. It's the officer. Oh my God. Officer. Yeah. And okay. then on page five, for the the last paragraph, the second line should be insuring E N. Oh yeah. Insuring. Yes, you are absolutely right. Mm, yeah. Mm. Where where's that at? We are on page four. Right. Five. 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 Gotcha. Not four. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go backwards. Yeah. Under the letter D, that yeah. last paragraph, under D, the second go line. Down, go down two oh. lines. No, no, here. Yeah. Oh, not in D, below D. Okay. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, gotcha. Insuring. Gotcha. It says good insuring. Yeah. That's a good. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Gosh, your guys' eyes are so. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was, was good. <laughs> I was born a proofreader, but I miss those things too. So that's why a couple features. <laughs> well, my mom's an English teacher, so I don't say Fix that. Uh, that explains it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Say no more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And are we consistent on all the, I assume on all the other, um, or you can just search to make sure we don't have director officer there. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's all that I had. Again, we're still not even 10 minutes in. Not done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a public hearing, so or hearing. Okay. So, so yeah. anybody else? You want to ask if they want to have anyone here? Anyone else have comments about the? Yes. That's probably that's probably what we should do. Yes, if we could have, uh, have a statement that you're opening the the hearing. I know we. I know we read the, okay. the title here that it's a hearing, but maybe we just formally let's open that hearing and. Okay, so we're going to the agenda, and the um. Number four, there is a personal board hearing, so we will now officially open the hearing and um, need to hear if are there any recommendations on Article two to the changes in Article two of the personal policies and procedures. Article one. Yeah. I'm sorry, Article one. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Take, I'll, I'll no, go out you're, and you're, come you're, back you're, in. You're, 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 <laughs> no, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. We knew what you meant. Oh, Lord, I'm glad you did. I don't know of that. <laughs> Article one. Any changes, gentlemen, lady? Okay. So hearing we, none. Public hearings. Hearing none. Hearing none. none. The public hearing is closed. If you had a gavel, you could probably do that. Could you bring that the next time, the gavel? Oh, <laughs> I can bring a hammer. <laughs> Awesome. I will do this cane. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm dangerous. I don't know. Water. I don't know. No changes from the others that are present. All right. So no changes. We need a motion. Uh, we can just uh, make we can just make a statement to close the, the, the hearing is now closed. OK. But she said the hearing is now closed. And now comes a, a recommendation, a motion to or, and that would be in a motion form. Okay. Whether you want to recommend agenda. approval of this to the city council, denial, or you know approval subject to these conditions. So, what are your thoughts? I will. Uh, I'll make that recommendation. Yeah, I was gonna say. I make a motion to accept the Article One document presented at the. Uh, May 13th, 2022, uh, personnel board meeting, uh, adopt uh, policy as written with changes that you. Yeah. yeah, if you want to put that in, I, some of those things are like really Scribner type things, yeah. but I would, yeah, however, yeah, however you want. So I would make that motion. You made the same. That's fine. So we'll put Laura, you down as the motion, uh -huh. and Ron as the second. Or I'll trade spots. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
And then all in favor said aye. 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 Okay, so that was to accept it in its final version as written, as written with the few minor changes. So yeah. now do they need to make a motion to send it to the council or is that? No, that's normally okay. that's, yeah. that's their recommendation that will go to the council. Okay, so yeah. then we can present it to the council after. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Yeah. With your mm -hmm. approval. Yeah, right? we did. Yeah, because the motion, yeah. the motion yeah. would be to approve the, to go to the city council. Okay. I mean, you know how that same wording yeah. is for all that. So, but I think that'll be the June 6th meeting is what we're going to I'm just going to ask. Yeah, however it's worded in the one that we just did on right. the other and change yep. the topic. So. Yep. Awesome. Got it. Got it. Nice work. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. We got there. We so, so I think excited. We, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Quite a bit. It's good. Great. Okay, moving forward on the agenda. So we'll go to new business. Will we, will we be doing the ethics together or is that something you're going to do? With the other proposed method with going to labor first and stuff. I didn't, I wasn't clear on that when we left the other time. I, I know we have talked internally. I think the idea was to bring that back um, separately from the big document that will come later. Okay. Is the idea that. I mean, I we will definitely changed. send it to the unions yeah. as okay. well for yeah. their feedback, but we're going to do it sooner rather than later. Like that's going to be the next. And okay. We're already okay. Yeah, gotcha. working on it. So we'll bring, we'll send it to the unions once we have a draft and okay. get their feedback, and then it will be presented to you all. And hopefully, you think we'll, we can do that mm -hmm. next month. Then. And we'll have a chance to include what we think should be. Absolutely, no, that that and that wouldn't be like a final public hearing or whatever. That will just be the work, the work like what we've yeah. been doing yeah. Yeah. before. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think, I think we can do it. Yeah, I think that's um, doable. I mean, yeah, give it a try, and if it doesn't work, we and then we can move forward or you know whatever. So labor can always come; they're always you know they're open meetings, so they can come too. Sure. If there's anything additional that they want to add or whatever. Okay. I don't have any other new business. For me. I have several other things I want to bring up. <clears throat> You'll probably notice in the news that. The city of Kansas City implemented a minimum wage yeah. for their employees, 17 bucks an hour for full time, 16 for part time. According to the news media, I don't have any internal sourcing. And last fall, I brought up the idea we ought to have at least a $15 uh, minimum wage for all city employees. So that even if we adopted 15 bucks an hour, it's already going to put us behind the eight ball for, you know, if we compete with Kansas City. So again, I, th I think that's something we ought to be looking at because we're being eclipsed by other places and the big city to the west is making us almost uh, untimely with a $15 uh, wage. So I know with the budget coming up, that's maybe the appropriate time to look at that uh, and uh, as an agenda <laughs> item for a future meeting or maybe the next meeting, I don't know. And I would I would just add to that that the first presentation, just the general presentation of the budget, not well, the budget's out there. The budget's already out online. The first presentation was on Friday um, at the Finance and Audit Committee meeting. Um, so I think it's probably too late in this fiscal year to consider that in the budget. Um, but um, also just with the financial issues that we're facing already in the general fund and things like that. I don't think that that would be something that I don't think we're going to afford it this year, but I think we're way too late into the budget process, but we can, you know. Well, I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Adam? Are we, are we too late? Yeah. I, I, well, a couple. I'll, you want to go first? Yes. <laughs> and a couple of meetings I thought ago, he was the finance no, guy. And a couple of meetings ago, we had decided that we would incorporate that particular um, philosophy in the comp study that we're doing. And so we have engaged the, the um, organization. Right. We have started, we've kicked it off. Um, it's gonna be about a four to six month process. But as part of that, what we discussed here, that's going to be part of what we look at as we look at labor 
markets, um, the valuation of the city, all of those things will be put into place. And then we, I would be happy once we're all done and everything is final. I mean, you all will, if there's any changes to the paid plan or whatever, I mean, we would. We I'm sorry, Josh, you said that. Yeah, Thank so you we, yep. we had talked about that a couple yep. months ago and it, we, I have what we've talked about and what your recommendation in my comp file. So sure. it's definitely sure. part of the discussion. You know, and, and maybe the consultant will look at the idea if you establish 15 or 17 as the base rate, what do you do with the, the other people who are maybe here two or three years? Can you leave them at that level or do you elevate them a little bit so that they're above that base rate? So at, it, at any rate, we will, we, whatever we decide as a city, I'm, I'm sure there will have to be a plan put in place to accomplish whatever that final philosophy and plan is that we put into place. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, just a couple other things. Uh, I understand we're going to have a, a uh, possibility of a charter commission to look at the various aspects of the city charter, which will ultimately go to the people to vote on. So these issues like Henry brought up the other day, having to do with something like title, like human resources director versus personnel director, and a lot of the other things. I think maybe we ought to provide some of our recommendations from us. If it's going to be changed, how we would see it. In other words, what's the responsibility of the personnel board? Are we advisory or are we something above advisory? In terms of discharge, demotion, and uh, and uh, uh, demotion, so I'd like to see us work on that to present to a charter commission. Uh, I think the city manager talked about specifically. You mentioned the personnel boards uh, as part of a need to make some changes. So anyway, that's the second item I'd like to see. And can I make a point on that? I don't know if you saw the first reading last week to um, get rid of that committee um, to the second reading on Monday, Monday night and March is Monday night to do away with they're They're going to. They're going to. Uh, end it, they're going to basically repeal that, however you want to say it, turn back to where they were and then they're going to talk and I think they have a May 17th uh, like a, round table retreat type thing where they're going to discuss and look at more options for a charter committee. So not that I don't think we'll have one eventually, mm -hmm. but it's not something that's going to be started. I don't think I think the votes on Monday night will be to end that committee. But to your point, yes, when we get back to having a committee, I would agree. But I, but I just think you yeah. know, the city manager brought up a whole lot of things mm -hmm. that I think need to be changed. And I know just within our committee or board, We've got a few things that sure. I'd re if I were doing it, I'd rewrite it a little bit more with clarity uh, in terms of what our responsibilities would be. So if I could add that that ordinance, the second reading of that ordinance, it does include language that says the council will develop composition for the committee and then through and then approve that through a resolution. So it doesn't just say it's gone. It says oh, I that the, the, the previous kind of structure is gone and they're going to discuss and approve a new structure. Mm -hmm. So it, it does kind of commit that group to do. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. They said they're uh, going to do it. It's just uh, like and so the ordinance does say that. So okay. it is very much something that's on their work plan yeah. radar. So I think your suggestion is spot on, but uh, that's a good uh, project and work for this for this board mm -hmm. to do. Uh, and develop those recommendations to provide to the to that commission whenever whenever they're assembled and chewing on some of this stuff. Uh, and the the last thing, you know, I guess we're all starting to wear masks again. You know, I don't think we're ever going to be done with this COVID nonsense. Um, you know, in terms of employees getting the shot, I think one of the first meetings that. You know, last July or August, I brought up the idea of maybe doing a slight bonus of some nature to employees who got their shots and got boosted. To it's an incentive to have that happen, 
And I know we're down at the bottom of the curve now, but it's starting to swing up. If you look at the New York Times or any other publication, you know, we're and even Jackson County is up about 50 percent. So mm -hmm. I think we ought to revisit that again. And it doesn't have to be a ton of money. It could be a $50 bonus uh, to employees who, and probably at least half of them have already done it anyway. Um, you know, so anyway, that's another issue that I, I think we all revisit. And I did come up with one other new business item, unless did you? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I put on my mask, so I'm. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 you're fine. Yeah. Um, I know at the Finance and Audit Committee meeting on Friday, they were talking about the uh, FLSA changes um, that they're going to be using, I think, to help balance the budget. Um, is that something that will be brought to us, I assume, in, in a separate? How's that going to work, I guess? Yeah, I, I was thinking about that uh, <laughs> coming into this meeting. My assumption is, you know, depending on what the outcome is in the budget process, um, if, you know, if the budget is amended or whatever, then, you know, I'll have to figure out other ways to uh, balance the budget. If it's approved as is proposed, then this this board would have to uh, modify would we need to, you know, consider modifying those uh, changes in the policy manual? Yeah, yeah. So we would probably want to move quickly because that's something that, I mean, obviously they're going to approve what June something. Yeah, it'll be the second. The second, second reading would be in June. June. So we'd have a little bit of time, but not enough to get it here. So like we would want to move quick. I know because you're going to. Yeah, yeah. The, the budget goes into effect June July first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that would be something is future work plan if it's approved as proposed. Yeah. Well, it, would we need to call an extra meeting potentially? Potentially. Uh, this board? Potentially. I mean, have to you address? guys thought about it? Do you have any type of what? Um, I have not. I just, I, I knew the issue came up, uh, you know, over the last year um, and, you know, heard it discussed, you know, Zach mentioned it on Friday, um, but I have not, um, you know, I, I don't, and I don't know to like how. I mean, obviously, it affects a lot of people, and then there's a lot of people. You know, like work uh, agreements are going to have to be looked at separately or whatever. But you know, how much is this going to save the city? You know, how many employees are we talking about this affecting? I mean, stuff like that would be interesting to me, and I don't, I don't know um, how they, you know, how they did that in the budget process. But I assume they did in some way. But I'm. As far as the actual word changing, I mean, I would look at it as, you know, what what's the what's the language of FLSA? You know, what is what are they doing? They're doing what are they doing? Just say that, you know. Um, I think there's plenty of examples of what FLSA yeah. language is. So Absolutely. Yeah. I don't have any other thought under that. That's what you'd have to change it to. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm not sure what you really. Fair Labor Standards Act, what you're talking about, but I'm not sure which, what the issue is. So it came up um, during some the, uh, another issue that employees can basically take, um, like let's say they take, uh, they're taking vacation on Monday through Friday, right? And they get paid out of their vacation bank, or PTO, or whatever, for 40 hours a week. And then they pick up a Saturday or Sunday shift. Um, so then they get to add that on top of, oh, I'm sorry, that's not the way it's, it, it's okay, doubled it's, up. It's I can't say it right. Hours. The city has a yeah, policy right. that all hours are counted towards overtime. But mm -hmm. the FLSA rule is only hours worked. So in the case that Laura just demonstrated, you would get 40 hours of regular pay out of your vacation bucket mm -hmm. and Saturday would be paid at time and a half or double time, whatever. And you've really only worked that week yeah, eight or ten hours, but it's all double time or time and a half because you got paid out of your vacation for 40 hours. So and the FLSA requires only hours work right. have to be counted towards that's what that's time. Right. I know, but haven't you given that up in the union contracts? Um, not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, you know, the logic, I mean, I don't know that any other employer that I know of does what independent says. They don't. And, and don't you know, that's, that's, just a, <laughs> that's a glitch in the bargaining process by whoever bargained on contracts, but I'm not sure that that's something that we need It'll, for us to inter, interact. Well, with. it also says that in the personnel policy. So it's not just in work agreements. Yeah, yeah we would have to A common that. practice in cities is that um, holiday hours count towards towards overtime because it's a city provided, okay. but not vacation or personal business or sick. Those hours don't count towards overtime, but a holiday would count. I mean, that's one option, obviously. It just seems to me that whoever negotiated the contracts was kind of weak in terms of because you know, it's it has allowed a lot of people to yeah. earn a lot of yeah. money. Yeah. But you're going to have a room full of people here yeah. when you take yeah. it away. I, that is, I mean, that's that's what Laura's bringing yeah. up is that's what's being discussed right now. So we'll just have to wait and see how the budget is proposed, and I have a chance to go through it and see. I mean, if we could get it changed, it would be a game changer in yeah. us. Okay. Wait a minute. This is going to be the shortest meeting on record. For <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any other new Friday, business? 10 30, I'm out. <laughs> Any other new business to bring forward? Uh, yes. Yeah, I love the idea of what you said, Ron, about. Um, as the charter, you know, you're looking at the charter and perhaps as you're talking about revisiting the section about personal board, that would be a good opportunity to maybe talk about bylaws for this group as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that excellent? And can you answer? I don't know. I have to look at the charter like for the POAB and the you know, others that are required at the audit and finance. Yeah. Audit, yeah, well, audit and finance to me, they're the council making. Oh, okay. But like for the PUAB, uh -huh. which is, you know, run by it, it means yeah. volunteers, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, do they have a section in there about how their appointments are done and all that? Something that or is that because to kind of to me, that is a like an operating, you know, That's an right. SOP. Like this is how we're going to you know, standard operating. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. That seems to me would be not in the charter. But if, if the PYB part is in the charter, then of course the language. Yeah. I don't know, do you know? It could, could just be something as as simple as these boards will have their own bylaws and just a simple statement like that, not really going into detail what those bylaws are. Yeah. Would and then we would write, yeah. But I, I, think think it's, I know like PYB has their own bylaws. Yeah. I, mean, I think we could take that up. It's board. like, you know, about electing the chairman or vice chairman mm -hmm. or having quarterly meetings or mm -hmm. yeah. some of the details like that. Yeah. And how the meetings will be run and how, yeah, I, I think we can do just that. a planning quorum, which I mean, I don't know what that is, you don't but want it's to really more, tie the, in the yeah. charter. You really don't want to tie the mm -hmm. hands. Correct. Because, you know, it's something that goes to the people for a vote. Correct. So you want to maintain a little flexibility. Correct. Mm -hmm. So and I then, think we should put that on for whenever we decide to meet again as the next agenda, because, you know, if you, if you could send us a copy of what PUAB has, I'm sure it's not wholly different, you know, and if that's something that has the kind of language that we're looking for, then we don't recreate the wheel, you know, unless there's things that are not addressed. And you might look at the Board of Adjustment. I was on the Board of Adjustment for two years. Yeah, the I, what been, board? Excuse the Board of Adjustment. Board of Adjustment, of okay. Zoning, basically, mm -hmm. zoning policy. And it's been a while since I've been on this 14 years, but I think there were some bylaws like that, but I may be wrong. Yeah, I think if we're going to continue to meet on a very regular basis and do this kind of work, I think it would be beneficial. Very much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and that brings you up the other question I had. For like three years, we didn't have a meeting, I think, thereabouts, only for a hearing or something that the city brought to us to look at like a layoff policy. Um, so I thought, well, we ought to have a little more frequency, but I'm just really wondering if we need to meet once a month 
uh, only had one agenda item this time. Two of our members have missed the last couple of meetings. So I'm just wondering if we need to have a regular meeting unless we have a purpose, you know, and have several things on the agenda. It seems to me as though we're building quite an agenda now for the next several meetings. Uh, we've talked about the, um, well, we'll look at next month's meeting to see what's happening with the, yeah, yeah, the bylaw, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can begin work on the um, ethics. <clears throat> so I don't know that I would want to, at this meeting, say that we won't be meeting monthly. In fact, I think we may need to have an extra meeting occasionally because of all the work that we need to do. But um, I think we need to keep that in mind that as we move forward with the PMP, if we need to skip a month, I'm fine with that. Okay, well, yeah, I think I agree. I don't like to have meetings to just to have meetings, no. but we have plenty of things and I think we're not we're not tied into absolutely every month. You know, um, we could just look at the end of the schedule and say, do we have enough new business? And I mean, even other you know committees I run, if we come up to the day before and because sometimes things get presented to that committee and just, you know, bound time, if we don't get anything, we cancel it 24 hours in advance. You know, if you feel like you've looked at it and you're like, we're not ready on ethics or and I was trying to look to see too about again what's what day do they vote they would vote on the 20th of June which is the second Monday and one my thought and of course we don't know what's going to happen with this FLSA thing do we need to meet right in there to get that process started or are you going to wait to work on draft language until Yes or no comes down from the top. Um, I know it just seems like it's going to be. It, it will be here soon. That's right. um, so, I'd like to think it's a long way away, but it's. <laughs> it's <laughs> we were just talking about how we're going to take a Christmas break. <laughs> so these meetings occur the second Friday of every month, so that would push push this into a regular. That would push push it into July. Instead of so, moving it up to like say. If it passes, we I mean, July 8th, I think. have it on the 22nd. Yeah. They vote on the 20th, you know, yes or no. We put yeah. up an, I'm just suggesting something. We put up an agenda on Monday the 21st to have our first meeting to discuss it on the 22nd. And so, yeah. Uh, Instead of a month meeting. And then we would need to do that another meeting 10 days in advance, right? Isn't yeah, that, yeah. So yeah. you'd have a preliminary meeting on the end of that week and then Depending on the outcome of that, then have another, then potentially post the change for 10 days and then have another meeting. Yeah, because that's already going to cut you into July. You know, I'm just. Yeah. I, I'll, I mean, it's up to you guys and I'll let you think about the dates, but if it passes, which we don't know until they you know, pass it, until they give it their checks or whatever, then. But I think if they do do it, we need to be ready to go. I mean, if that's what if that's what this board wants to do. I think we could we could be ready to do that too. Yeah. The the only other thought is that two members are up for reappointment on July the first. So if it's we don't we meet to July the seventh and the board and the city council has not made those appointments, then it would be an illegal meeting. No, you if, serve if, on the committee until your next person is appointed. So. Even I if you, don't think it says that, but okay. you know, I may be yeah. wrong. You know, yeah, you, you, I know that happened because it happened to me when I was a two year at first and then they needed to reapprove me and there was some delay in getting paperwork and they're like, it's OK, it's you serve on the committee until your replacement is. Maybe the attorney May, can research yeah. that just to make sure, because if you pass something, then it's ruled to be invalid when you've got a legal issue. So. I don't know, you know. That's well, we would. So you're saying we wouldn't have a quorum? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we're, we're not. We can't vote on anything if you have a quorum. I think that's. Yeah. But if, but if the other two people are not attending meetings, you know, then. It, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't know. If you don't have a quorum, you don't have a quorum. I mean, they've asked for us for an in our our intent 
to stay on the committee, Teresa and I. And I got to look at the dates because I can't remember. Dates but the but I believe, I know the last time I was appointed two years ago, they said, well, you've got to sign the paperwork in order to be a member of the committee oh. or you can't participate, you know, in, and, yeah, in that's the, direct opposite of what in the proceedings doing. because your term ends on July 1st. You check that out um, and because that happened to me and I know so there should be some notation and that would have been under Sarah, I think. I don't think that was Becky. Okay. But that that, you know, they're like, you know, if you want to continue, you know, of course they could change their mind. I mean, if they want to say no, you don't, then you know. Well, I'm just thinking if they delay their council meetings where they take up the well, the commission. Yeah, they've points. already canceled one study session, which I didn't understand, but that's a whole different deal. Um, they're asking for our intent to stay on by the 25th. Is that correct? <laughs> it's in the email. It said the 25th or the 23rd, whatever. So the 25th, if we if we have to turn them in by then, that's a five. We're in a five Monday month, so the next study session isn't going to be until June 13th which is when they then recommend it to be on the agenda. So it would pass on June 20th. So we it would be the same day as the budget. Is that track with what you're thinking? I know that's not your job because that's their job, but that's the way I'm seeing it based on what Marissa, or Marissa asked for. If they go along as yeah. per normal. We could, um, I mean, maybe, maybe the best thing would be for us to kind of take a step back, develop a schedule and then yeah, I get you all. Yeah, they, I know they've set it in motion, so I don't know how that. Well, and just if we are looking at the 22nd for anything, the state will committee is that morning in this room. Oh, so just yeah, and I'm not out. getting in their way. <laughs> Beat would kill me. <laughs> we could do that and then do this. Oh, when that's a that fun day. Maybe. That <laughs> so yep. just FYI, that's yes. this room is. I'll leave it to you to figure out, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll put something together. You know, if that's what you guys are going to, I can't set the, how it's going to go. Yeah. For you guys, so. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, motion to adjourn. So be it. Goodbye. Bye. All in favor, say bye. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's my favorite. Can I ask who's next meeting and what we do with? We don't know yet. Yeah. Right? We're going to presume we're meeting on our normal day, which, unless we end up needing to have movement to another day because of the budget, or if we have to have two meetings in that month. Right. But yeah. I would assume we're going to be back here. Second Friday in June. Right. Yes. Yeah. Let's yeah, see. unless otherwise notified. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, you're just going to call it. You don't have every meeting. Right. It would be I a new it. article, the ethics policy. A new article to add. Mm -hmm. It's not covered already. Correct. Okay. You, what, what is it pertaining to? Ethics. A code of conduct. Basically. Ethics policy. And then the FLSA thing may or may not right. be an issue. But we just have to wait. Do, do, do we have access to a <laughs> best practices code of conduct somewhere? Something that's been adopted somewhere so you don't have to create it from scratch? That's what we're doing. I mean, we're words, already, we took the code of conduct from the charter. There's some, we took that and then best practices and we've already started putting something together, yes. which we will, uh, if we are going to look at it in yeah. June, we'll we'll try but, to but get at least include, a draft. Uh -huh. It would include things like a city employee accepting a gift to do a certain thing. In other words, or an employee is offered chief tickets and a dinner. Something which would be, in my opinion, inappropriate. Um, you know, some. You know, I mean, there's things like that. I think we ought to address. I, I don't think that it's occurred. To Already something, but I, I know conflict. Conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. Yeah. No uh -huh. free lunch type thing, you know. Yeah. So you're not going to buy me lunch today? Yeah. I, know, I mean, <laughs> not, not, not unless you're going to. Hey, listen. <laughs>
with the stock market, I may need a job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a bad, bad news. Yeah, yeah. Where? Well, I can always use help. So. <laughs> yeah, we're down another 103 today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Gas went up too. All right. Oh, we're adjourned. Gas went up too. I like.